Hello. Ah, child of God. Uh, today is another bright morning that God has given us, that we should be rejoicing and be glad in it. I know in some other parts of the world, probably it is during lunch hour, like in my uh, country, that is Kenya. This should be around two o'clock, they are about two or three. Yes, I think so. Because where I am in Canada, it is now 9 a.m. in the morning. I want to thank God because of his faithfulness. His faithfulness. And I, I don't know, I don't know what disappointment is all about. Because my life is a product of God's grace and mercy. I've always seen God working in my life. Yeah? Every time, any time, when I desire something, Sometimes, uh, I, I don't even think about it so much. I'm like, how can I make through to this? How can I get this? How can I be able to do this and that? And without even taking a lot of time, God just provides a solution. Yeah, I know, I know. God has given me the reason as to why he brought me to Canada. And he had a good reason. I, I've never thought about this. God had a good reason that I have been imagining. So when people ask me, why did you go to Canada? I've always been thinking, I've always been forging an answer. I'm like, it was for my children. It was for the good of my, the future of my children. Yes, of course, I did it for my children. I didn't do it for myself. Because back home in Kenya, I was having a good job. I mean, almost at the topest, at the highest rank in my profession, I was almost getting to the point of self-actualization because I was commanding a multitude of people, a multitude of others, a multitude of uh, uh, educators because I they sat down and I did facilitate learning before them. I, in other words, those who don't, don't, don't understand what facilitating learning is, it means I trained them. I trained educators from all over the country. I trained um, professors, I trained doctors, I trained education officers at the national level, at the county level, at the sub-county level, at the zonal level, at school level. I mean, I trained principals, I trained head teachers, I trained teachers, I trained students, I trained parents, I trained boards of management, and all those. And imagine, I was at like I have done it. This is the best and the most that I can do to serve my country. Just when I was getting to the point of getting it, yeah, that time when things were almost right for, for, for me, when, wherever I was working, God just said, ship, go to another land. And when God brought me to Canada, he had a reason, he had a purpose, he had a mission for me to accomplish. He's slowly unveiling that mission. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 31, what does the word of God say? That so, whether you eat or drink, everything that you do, do it for the glory of God. And that is why I keep saying that my life is a product of God's grace and mercy. The things that have happened to me in the past, the things that are happening to me in the present, and I know the things that are yet to happen to me in the future, God's hand is there. I don't fear anything. I don't fear anything because what God has created me to be, the purpose for which God created me, he himself is accomplishing it. And my work is to just give him glory. My work is just to give him honor. My work is just to lift him in my entire life. I know I am human. I can go astray just like anybody else. I can fall short of God's glory. 
But he is telling me every day, every day, that he created me for a purpose. God knew me even before my mother and my father met. I mean, before my father and my mother met to create this baby called Christine that was born just before Christmas Day. I mean, God had purposed and God had ordered my steps one after the other. It is not about what human beings will be thinking about my life. It is not what, whatever anybody will be thinking about what I'm doing. It is about what is the purpose of my life. And I have to live to fulfill this purpose. And one of the things that God has established me in is to talk about sustainability, is to talk about Him in the planet Earth. How we can take care of what He created. How we can take care of God's creation. How we can really make good use of the resources that God has given us. And any kind of inspiration that I get, it's, it's all about making a difference. How can I go about this and that and that to make a difference? And that is why I always stand by my mantra that says, go beyond the obvious. Yes, GBO. I've always said I am a GBO. Let me say girl. GBO girl, GBO lady, GBO woman, they are all mine. Going beyond the obvious. And the students that I've trained, the students that I've taught in school, in high school, in um, the, 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 the national level, everywhere, uh, at any time, I've always emphasized the fact that we have to go beyond the obvious. And we must purpose to mad, make a difference. Remember, today's verse was 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. If I can paraphrase that in everything that you're doing, yeah, whether you are eating, whether you are sleeping, whether you are, you are working, whether you are, are doing an exam, whether you are studying, whether you are teaching, whether you are, whatever you're doing, do it for the glory and honor of God. And so that is what God wanted me to tell you today. Have a blessed and lovely day.